Greetings all, I have a deck box. I have finally completed a project that's been on the cards but I'm sh for a while. I bought and picked up one of these cheap game genic deck boxes to put it in because I don't want to use a cardboard box, thanks. Right. Well, what's in here? That's a good question. Within these sleeves is a deck that I've been looking forward to putting together for a while because somebody out there wants me to build this again, apparently. So, this doesn't really help me figure out what this is, but that is Chaos Valkyria, just sort of support card for the deck. Ten new spirit for special summoning. Dino tank helps me bring out things. We don't really care about the fusion monster section, to be honest. Uh, we care about the fact that we can special this card to my hand. Because we will definitely be having lower life points than our opponents most of the time. Uh, we have some tuners, we have some wheel synchrons. Again, this is just because I really needed uh, synchro material that could also be non-tuner specifically stuff. This helps with some of the archetypal stuff. And yes, it's Ally of Justice. There you go. So we're not running pure Ally of Justice. It's kind of Ally of Justice with... And a generic support, more generic support engine, because pure Elf Justice is really, really bad. And there's a bunch of Elf Justice cards that are just absolutely terrible. This one, not so bad, actually. Nullifier, three cop two copies of, not so bad, could be better. I think I wanted to run this as a three of um, Nullifier, but I just couldn't find a third copy. We have Thousand Arms, again... It can hit light monsters a lot and can actually basically field wipe theoretically, but it's a one of because it's inconsistent as shit. Allo Justice Core Destroyer basically blows things up by card effect. We're running, I believe, two of those as well. Again, I felt like three was too clunky, at least at the moment. We have a one, two, three gateway because it's a special summonable monster that's kind of big and can potentially help us make big, big, big synchro plays. Potentially, anyway. Potentially. Uh, we have Ally of Justice Quarantine, which is just basically barrier statue of light, but better on better stats. Um, that could screw me over, though. But it's potential hoser. Uh, Battle Fader. Also... Uh, yeah, we have Winter Cherries. Yeah, we have Winter Cherries, Hand Trap, that's also a tuner, which can help us out. Ghost Bell, which is a tuner. Essentially, our Hand Traps, for the most part, are also our Dex tuners, for some to some extent. Because the generic Ally of Justice tuners are absolutely garbage. I'm testing out Synchro World. I'm running one copy at the moment, because I'm not sure about it. Dark Hole uh, is going to be eventually placed over Geki, obviously. Red arrows might be funny. Might be. Might be. Might be something that gets rid of a lot of some it, it hoses certain types of decks. Runic dispelling is just it's just a runic card. We're not using the special summoning runic, we're just using the first effect. Which basis is oi get fucked. Stop searching stuff. Unisong tuning can help us bring out you know, just synchro stuff. It just synchro stuff. Syn sweet room made. It's just relatively generic. Again, it can potentially hose certain things. If our, if our, if our opponent is doing... Yeah, effectively, if the opponent's like foolishing something, we can put it right back in. So they're playing certain decks, it's like, no, put it back. Machina Armored Unit is just... It helps, it helps the deck to do its thing by bringing up more boys. It can also bring stuff straight out from the deck. Reborn, because it's reborn. Iron Call. I might run this at three, after what I found out with the trains does, because it's quite funny, because once you actually synchro summon, it doesn't really matter if they're going to get, if they don't have any fets or banish during the end phase or whatever. Phoenix Chain. Uh, I don't have a better, I don't have an Imperm at the moment. Dynamicious. is Dynamicious. Deck Dev. Uh, it's going in there as an experiment at the moment. I don't know how useful it will be. But it's there. Compulse. I could probably do with better cards than Compulse, possibly. Bottomless. It's bottomless. I'm running... I think two of it is legal now. So I'm running the maximum that I'm allowed to run, I'm pretty sure. Mirror Force, just because I'm a sucker for it. Okay, maybe there's the, the three copy of that. Mirror Forces and that. I think, I think um, Bottomless got unlimited. Pretty sure. And then Extra Deck... Tech Tune is Hyper Librarian because 
This card is absolutely busted. I don't know why it ever got unbanned. Cataster is basically the king of this deck. Cataster, Cataster, Cataster. I think what I do need is a decent level one tuner for this. That's actually level one to go with our level four stuff. As there's not really a huge amount of level one options for the deck. Um, that's where I'm going to struggle a lot. I think I thought at first that Battle Fader was a tuner. I think I'm thinking of Effect Veiler, which I will probably replace some of the things with with Effect Veiler to get Catastro out much easier. Uh, we have Virtual World Beast Juju. I it does attribute related stuff and can potentially yeet something to the grave that doesn't. It's non. Yeah, it's non destroying, but it is targeting. There's a couple copies of that. Maple Maiden is actually really important. Uh, Maple Maiden is effectively attribute gravity, or whatever it's called, but on a synchro body. I do need the attribute changing continuous spell for this deck as well to change everything to light to actually make my effects active. This is weirdly enough some of the best <laughs> Ally of Justice support I've ever seen. But I do need two, a couple more copies of this. Uh, we have this, again, it's a potential removal on a synchro body, which can be good, can be good. Couple copies of that, we have the new Gaia Blade, uh, it could have potentially hit things twice, to be fair. The other effect is kind of pointless, but it, it's, it's there. It was, I was struggling to find decent stuff at bulk rarity to just whack into this to start off with. Field Marshal, I'm, field, we know Field Marshal's bad, but he's there because he's an ally of justice. And then finally Decisive Armors, because Decisive Armors are kind of what you want to make in this. And I think I need one more slot. I might do something, I'm not quite sure to slot fill. This is the basic build of it. Uh, let me know any suggestions below. I'm going to work on this over time. This is just the first of a long series of updates on how to make Ally of Justice work the series, effectively. So if there's any major updates, I will do another video on it. And until next time, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, give us a big catasta thumbs up in the comments, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.